Well, hello guys. I was bored today, so I decided to make a tutorial on how to use an old webcam to track your movements in game. Called Free Track, no IR, so this one don't need LEDs strapped to your head and ads and all that stuff that make you look like, I don't know an alien in front of the computer I mean technology is a little bit better than that than the use of LEDs and stuff strapped onto your head to detect your and as you can see this one works pretty well I can track pretty much everything inside the plane so let's get going Okay, so head on to the program's website that is posted near this video and grab the, the latest version, the full installer version that comes prepacked with everything you're going to need to get this to work. Okay, just grab that. During the install you might want to have checked the free track 2.0 protocol, the moving, the mouse cursor and the virtual joystick because you may want to later make this work on another game that doesn't support it so you may want to have your head's input as a mouse cursor or a joystick so you can use all the axes on the other games to make the camera views uh, to right, left, wherever, okay? So just leave that checked the other things I have all, okay? So the next thing we are going to do is we're going to grab this shortcut here, track IR from the program folder. Okay, just right click face track and open file location and scroll down to the bottom and make a shortcut of this to the desktop. Okay. I mean this thing was supposed to run automatically but in my case it doesn't run so probably in yours will not do the same or better, we'll do the same thing as in mine, will not run so you have to run it manually what this does is this uh, sends the, p uh, the the input that the program detects from your web camera and sends to the games that are compatible with Track IR ok, so open up the program and you'll check that uh, you'll view that you can make series of profiles Oh, another important thing, you must, if you have problems when you hit the start button and the camera doesn't start right away or uh, the face recognition takes a long, long time to, to take place, you, you're, you're better if you uninstall all the camera software, okay, th th face recognition, zooms, color corrections, all that crap that comes packed with your drivers so uninstall all the software just leave the drivers it will work much better but in some cases you don't need it okay only if you are detecting problems uh, whatever you can try it both with and without okay so if you have if you if you notice that you are losing some frame rates in a game you can test with the samples the samples come much lower by default mine are at 10 because I mean it's the best I think it's the best for me okay so in the War Thunder case I'm not using the zoom in zoom out function that supposedly was going to be the Z axis I'm just using the pitch and yaw left and right up and down uh, because the zoom in zoom out I mean it's a little bit buggy and the camera gets all all messed up in the game so I'm just using the, those two for now um the rest you can leave it by default um, I'm using the free track protocol that as I was telling you about I'm ch I have checked the start dummy track IRXE uh, but it doesn't start automatically in mine so that's why you need to bring up that shortcut 
uh, when you run the program just go to the task manager and check if track IR is running just check it once if it runs when you click it then it will run always so use track IR hide free track this one you must choose it's come default enable both but it's better if you just choose track IR and hide free track okay so the next thing that you are going to to do is the shortcuts you have to define a shortcut to center the camera as you can see I wiggle my ugly mug around and that picture that's supposedly to turn and I'm turned okay now it lost my tracking you need to set up this so that in game if something happens to the camera you can quickly reset the camera to, his, to its default position so you don't crash or you know what I mean okay so just set a shortcut there with whatever you want and now to the curves okay this thing is really important and you must set it up okay as you can see now that recognition has started again my face is all or better this portrait here is all messed up so you just go to the shortcut and it will reset everything to the default positions okay so in the curves what we are going to, to do the is fine-tune this to your way of playing the game okay so the best thing is to leave a, a little dead zone in the beginning of the movement curves just leave a dead zone so that when you are gaming we are always have the tendency to wiggle our heads around and you don't want the camera in game to get all messed up so just do this and as you can see when I go up pitch up goes up when I go down go down when I go right and left it's everything working so my recommendation to you guys is open the game in window mode in a small resolution the first time pick up a test flight and start configuring things like when you're flying the plane and you lo look right the camera jumps too quickly to the to the rear view so it's climbing up too fast you need to get a gentle up curve if you don't like turning your head so much to look back you can always use the tilt function here the roll just activate the roll and what the roll gives you it you can in game use it to look back for example if you don't like turning your head too much just do this and you look back in the airplane okay so it's pretty easy um, it's not Einstein related stuff as I call it um, you can instead of using the the pitch and yaw you can use the x and y but whatever they all work the same way and this side you have already everything so as you can see I don't know why okay as you can see in game it's already working and one thing that you need to do is in game you must set up the automatic where is it uh, well let me find it okay as you can see the zoom axis here in the game it's the z supposedly the z in the program I have it not assigned so this was supposed to if you when you aim you do this and when you're not aiming you do this so but it's I don't know it's not that smooth and I don't like it because of that so well I can't seem to find it but when you are setting up the controls um, there is a question 
that this makes it, which is automatically center the view. Okay, this one you have to run it and make yes. So that okay. Use track IR, yes. Do you want to zoom with your head tracking? No, because that sucks really bad. At least with a camera. Okay. We activated that automatically reset. So if the program crashes for some reason of stops following your face it will automatically reset the view so but as you can see it works pretty well for a 20 euro that is the web camera costs and track air costs about I don't know hundred and something, two hundred and something, I really don't know, but I think it's a little bit expensive, I will give that money faster for a nice set of joysticks and throttles and whatever than I give for a track IR, so this is a much cheaper and easy way for you to have some fun and some in-game real life movement so if you have any questions or any problems just post it below on the comment section I will try to help you out if you need something there are some webcams that have better support than the others you can check the program's website for that related stuff webcam support, I think the guys have forums too so you can also find pretty decent amount of information to help you there and hope you guys manage to put this thing to work and have fun with it I mean, I'm having <laughs> okay, so bye